fix on that. We're actually going to add damage to it. So we actually have to go to our gameplay ability. Gameplay ability. Player. Sword. So on event received. So when we receive an event that we hit something, we're going to get our event data, which gives us our target. And we're going to apply damage to this target right here, right? So we go where we set that up. So our character has a combat collision handler, right? And remember, you have to override another delegate, which is the on hit. So let's do that. Uh, over here, set up combat components, collision handler dot on hit. All dynamic is, and we have to make a function that takes in the same the result and the component. Right? So let's do that. Probably paste this here. Okay, vector. Make a U function. Void. On weapon hit. What I'm gonna call it. That's the what it takes. So go ahead and hit this all. Then we get some time. Perfect. Now we just find it up here to this. My player still character on what you hit. And let's see. Oh, we have the wrong parameters. Let's go out. There's a const, const reference of hit result or a collision component. Okay, so when Collision component gets a hit. So we're going to do this hit result. We are going to send the gameplay event to uh to our character. He's blocking. It is a blocking hit. So we have to send. A character this event data. We're going to create a gameplay event data and we're going to send it to the same gameplay event. All right. So we actually need to send a gameplay event data inside this gameplay event, right? So we need to make a gameplay event data from this hit result. So I think there's a function called Inside ability system blueprint library called ability target data from hit result and just that this doesn't hit result. And as you can see, that returns a gameplay ability target data handle, which This needs to get passed in into a gameplay event data.
So we're going to make a F template on data, template on data, and template event data dot instigator is equal to this. So we are the instigators. And template event data dot target data equal to this. And that is what we're going to pass into this gameplay event. So just game play event data. And that's it. That's how simple it is. So it's, it's good to go look at these blueprint libraries because they have a lot of very useful functions. This is just base implementation from Epic, right? This is the actual ability system. All right, so that's pretty much it. We don't care about the hit component, but we do care. So we make sure that we copy paste this tag that we're going to be using, right? And let's, let's go over here and let's compile. And the reason why we copy that tag is because we have to change it here. We made event montage, but we need to make event montage weapon hit. So we actually just need this part. Okay. So we don't need this, but we do need to modify this. So montage, add sub tag, and weapon hit. Tag and this. Okay, so when the whip it hit, we're, we get this event data, right? That's what we did on, on code. Now we have to use this event data to do all the stuff we need. Once again, we're going to use this effect container. We're going to add an effect container. We're going to call it the by color damage. No target type. We set by color magnitude, so gameplay effect class. We're gonna set set by color damage. Again, set by color tag damage and the magnitude. So this is how much damage is gonna do. We're gonna just do twenty five, so chunk a quarter of the health every time. Because the NPC has hundred health. Okay, so our goal is to apply damage to this target. So to do that, we need to, so we set up our effect container map, right? Just set by color damage, which is going to be 25. So we got to get that effect container map. We're going to find, so we're going to find the damage tag and we're going to break it. Uh, we're going to make outgoing gameplay effect spec. You see, I get zero. So that's the, that's the class we're going to do. So that, that's our set by color damage. The levels just leave it at one. Or you can do get level, get a bit of level. And it's going to convert to a vote. So if you're using the ability levels, just plug that in, but we're not, so it doesn't really matter for us. And then we do sign tag set by color magnitude. The data tag is the data tag from down here, and the magnitude is the magnitude from down here. And this returns a gameplay effect spec handle, right? That is what we need. To apply damage to a target. So this will apply damage to the target.
our target data comes from here. If we set everything up correctly, this won't be null. So let's breakpoint it. I'll save. So let's see if it works. Wait. We have to hit him. Set where we're going to get this. So nothing's happening. Let's see why. So for uh, some unknown reason, this is not getting called, even though we found it to the delegate. So he's going to do it in Blueprint. So just over, go to your collision handler, override on hit, and do the same thing, but in Blueprint. So you send the gameplay event to actor, you pass in this, send the event tag, and ability target data from hit result. So everything's the same as C++. Everything's the same. But now it works for some reason. Now that we know it works, we can kill the character. So it's going to do 25 damage unless it crits. So 25 damage. Now we're 75. 50. 25. Now it should die, which should make it disappear. Well, oh, get destroyed. So get destroyed. I mean, that's it. That's how you apply damage, All right? You can actually. So you're gonna do this a lot, right? So what you want to do is make this into a blueprint function library, so you can keep calling in all your classes, or you can make a base class for this for gameplay abilities, right? And make a function called apply damage and just call that function after your event received. So you would like make a new function, apply damage. And this function would just take all of this in. Right. Here we need a gameplay event data. And that's it. I would pass in the attack to right, the key of the. That's about it. And then you call apply damage. And you give it the event tag. And make. Little tag. And it's like a power damage. You can actually pass by not reference. Good. All right, if you set it to pass by value instead of reference, it just you can just have to. You can just put it in instead of you're gonna make. All right. There you go. So that should still work. Okay. So damage. Damage. And that's it. All right. So that's how you apply damage. And. This is how every ability works, right? So you make a new ability, you just do the same thing. Or as I said before, you can make a base class that does all this functionality already. And you expose. So you would expose this montage to play as a public, right? As an instance editable, editable. And yeah. You can just make new fun new gameplay abilities like that. But this is the base implementation of how to make gameplay abilities for your attacks.